guys out there welcome back to ages how you wear it vlog style i have some goodies <laughs> i'm excited i'm excited you know i've been saying that i am getting ready to like change a lot of things right go out there get in the world do some things well with that come with that change comes responsibility <laughs> so i got a few things i want to show you um, as you can saw in that intro, the first thing is, I'm so excited I can't even say it. And this earring about to fall, so wait a minute. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, let me fix this earring. All right. I got some rollerblades. <laughs> when I was younger, I used to roll the blade all the time. So I said, you know what? Okay, what's happening right now? This earring been on in my ear. Because I've been filming. And if you see a lot of stuff in the background, you know I do everything in one day. I film. I take pictures. Okay. So anyway, as you saw in the intro, you saw me with my first few feet of rollerblading. I'm going to take my time. Y'all are going to have me out here busting my tail and somebody see it. Okay. So I'm going to take my time. I'm going to do it in the driveway. Nobody can see me. Then I go someplace else because at the gym, we got a gigantic parking lot and it's very few people there. I have to. Okay. Okay. I'm done with the earring. So you're going to see me with one, it, two, I got earrings on. Okay, so anyway, this is messing up my th stuff I'm trying to tell y'all. Woo! All right. So let's just see. So I got them from Amazon. Here they go. And these are them. Oh, so excited. And I'm going to bling it out because I'm extra. So I do plan on blinging it out. And it comes with its own bag for you to carry it around. I am like a little kid. For real. I'm like a little kid. So when I go to the gym, I'm going to hit the gym. And then I'm going to roll a blade. And it helps with muscles. It helps with, you know, getting your body moving and pumping. Because we sit there all day. Especially us that work in an office environment or work from home and we sitting at a computer all day. And by the time you finish, when you have to make yourself. Either you're going to have to make yourself do it in the morning or you're going to have to make yourself do it in the evening. And I plan on going to the gym and rollerblading. And so by the time I go on my cruise, ladies, by the time I go on my cruise in January... I'm going to be straight because I got the bathing suit of all bathing suits. And I'm going to put it on. So what else? Um, okay, so when I said about responsibility, I have got this. Uh, I'm financially free. And this is by actually one of my co-workers. Um, so you know I like to support. And it is a planner. Okay? So it plans. Let me show you. Like, um. It, it has your vision board. It helps you track bills and expenses. So next year, and I'm not I'm not writing in it in it yet. I'm writing in it January 1st. Because I want to start next year off being responsible. Not shopping as much. Not I want to have a plan in place where I can vacation. That's all I want to do. I want to go places. I want to see things. I want to do things. And I can't do that in shop. I can't do that. If you, I don't know why they think only drugs is an addiction. Shopping is an addiction. Um, you can have an addiction to uh, even your habits. Let's say you're a collector. Well, that can go out of hand because collecting means pain. So, Unless you're a junkyard collector, you're still spending money. So addiction is when you go overboard and it's not always you spend and you can't pay your bills. That's not true. My bills are paid. So it's when you 
you know, I did I did a lot of shopping. A, I was bored. B, it, it made me feel good to get the packages. And it's not from loneliness, from not having a man or anything like that. It is just, it's because I wasn't doing anything. And that is something to do. And plus, I like shopping um, so that, because I like wearing clothes. I like getting a deal. And I like nice things. So either way, I'm still getting it i just need to make sure that my energy is not only going towards that if that makes sense so um i'll put it right here it is on amazon let me tell you something else it got so it got um monthly goals uh journaling um and uh vacation budget if you want to start doing vacations so it has a lot of stuff in it and I'm going to use it next year, but I don't want to use it to then. I want to actually start off the year using it and then see what happens at the end of the year on December 31st. Did I really save money? If I didn't, if I held myself accountable, then I should be able to have my vacation already ready, right? Okay, so that's the next thing is the accountability. I have to be accountable. So you saw that I'm going to start doing more exercising because I'm going to do my roller skates and my, you know, I already, I already tried it. I go to, I work out, but not work out. You know what that means. It means it depends on my day. It depends on my time. It depends on what I put into it. When I lost all the weight that I lost when I was bigger, it was from consistency. That's it. I did it every day. Monday through Friday, I ate good. I eat good as long as I stop the snack or limit the snack. I'm not going to say stop because you don't have to stop anything. You limit. As long as I limit the snacks, limit the any drinking of wine because I can't do it every day. It's the sugar that makes me gain weight. So I can't drink wine all the time. But getting a bottle once a month and taking a, a drink of wine during the evening... It's fine. It's when you're doing bottles, okay? Mega pints. You can't do the mega pints, okay? Anyway, so the next thing is help, holding myself accountable inside spiritually. And you know, that's what I do on my, I don't have a vision board. I have an inspiration board. So you was with me when I did this one. So I'm going to change it. And you're going to change it with me. And I'm going to tell you the new ones that I'm putting up there. First of all, the cards have it to where you can write your own things that you're thankful for. So not everybody's going to have an eight in the cards or if you buy these cards from um, Amazon or whatever. They have a lot of things that you already thinking. Yes. But some of the things they have, some of the things you may want to put there, they don't have. So I, I have a card where it says, I am thankful for, okay? So tell, let me tell you the things I'm thankful for. I'm thankful for having been loved and have loved. I am thankful for the fact that I have loved someone. So I recognize it when I see it, okay? And I have been loved and I recognize that. So I know if I'm in love with you and I know if you love me. It is people that have never felt love. They keep thinking a toxic relationship is love and it's not. Okay. That's, that's want. That's what that is. Most toxic relationships are some type of need that one of us is fulfilling. And it's not always good. Let me turn. It's so hot in here, Jesus. Let me get my fan. I'm starting to sweat like a banjee. Ooh, wait a minute. Ooh, y'all know I'm old now. And I'd be turning ACs off so that you won't hear the noise in the background. But I'm about to turn that thing sky high when I do these outfits. Because I'd be in here sweat. Okay. Woo. All right. Let me take a sip, sip of my iced coffee, too. Whew. Anyway, 
So I'm thankful for that. So when that one comes along, because you know I done told you, I ain't got to get in love again. Oh, I got something to tell y'all about the dating thing. I took a screenshot so I won't forget it. I I'm going to tell y'all something in a minute. Second thing, I'm grateful to have a roof over my head. A roof over my head. Because I recently had to help someone who didn't. And every time I am so thankful that at this moment and point in time, because honey, it can happen to any one of us. At this moment and point of time right now, I am so grateful that I can open my door and shut my door. And I ain't got to hear nothing from nobody. I ain't got to listen to nobody. I ain't got to talk to nobody. I can be in my own space. This is my house. I can walk around and, you know, I, I'm grateful that I have my place. Now, it might be, it may not be the place I want forever. And it might not be the, the, the great home that I always thought I would be in. But it is mine right now, honey. And that's what matters to me. So I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for the ability for the ability to have nice things. We got to stop. Um, wait, where my little pen at? We got to stop trying to want what everybody else have. Okay, what you consider nice things? Okay, I'm gonna tell you what I consider nice things. I consider nice things like. This dress I have on. I love this dress. I've had it for years. And you've seen it. And if you've been with me a while, you've seen this dress. To me, this is a nice dress. It, I, I'm not talking expensive. I said nice. That means it was a value to me and it had value add. I can wear this dress over and over and over again. And that's value add. Okay? So, to me, this is nice. My jewelry that I buy is nice. I have expensive and I have non-expensive. You see more of my non-expensive than you do expensive. But to me, it's all nice things. Okay? So, if you got to, uh, you you always want to strive for more. And maybe there is something nicer than I may want. And it's something nicer you may want for your home, for you. But... I have to be thankful for the nice things that I have right now in my life. I have to be thankful for that. And start wearing it. Start spraying it. If you got nice perfume, spray it. I don't care if you spray it and you ain't going nowhere. It's yours. Spray it. Um, if you got nice things like earrings and jewelry, I said because I used to think, okay, I'm not going to wear none of my nice things to work. I stopped doing that. I'm going to tell you why. I spend more time working than I do leisure. I'm going to say it again. Add up how much time you spend working and how much time you spend going out somewhere. Because you got your sleep time, you got your work time, and you got your time that you have that you can spend with family, friends going out. I guarantee you, you spend more time working than anything. And I go in the office. I am starting to, I am going to wear my stuff. When am I ever going to wear it? I have to start for these nice things I have. I need to wear them. So, that's my that card. And then this is the second card. Because vacation is coming up, baby. I'm greedy. For one thing, I'm greedy to go back home. I haven't been back home in a while. I think it's been a year since I've been back home to see my family and friends. So I have already contacted people, bought my plane ticket, and those that I want to see, I've already contacted because I need to go see, I need to go see people, okay? And I'm going to see my number one fan who has been not only a part of my life, but has been a part of my YouTube family from day one. So Carletta, you know I've already reached out to you. We need to get together because child, you need to catch up. Okay, so I have that one. Then, I have this one. Call all your power back to you. It's time for us to call the power back, okay? That means I want a peace of mind. That means I'm not letting... I, I can't worry for other people. I can't uh, fix nobody. I, I want all my power back. And I'm talking about even my power from my job. 
because your job will take advantage of you in a minute. And I have a good job. I've been with my job 21 years. But don't, don't let it get twisted. A company is always at the bottom line trying to make money. Okay? That's what a company is for. They trying to build or make money. That's, that's the point. If I had my own business, eventually that's my point too. But I work for a good company. But you got to make sure that if you, you got to speak up when things are, if you feel like you're overwhelmed, if you think something's not fair, if your company has those policies in place, which every company should, that says, hey, we got an open door if you don't like things, if things, you know, but come with a suggestion to make it better. Not just that. So that means power from your spouse. You are an individual. Your, your, you matter. In the relationship there is no one-sided relationship that's toxic there is no one-sided relationship if it's something that I'm not happy about the only way your spouse will know that is if you communicate it nobody can read minds if you wait for somebody to read your mind oh well oh well especially a man sometimes you got to make it so plain like elementary you got to make it elementary do you understand me Make it so plain. So that's my other one. Taking back your power. Taking back your power. Power to be a woman. Power to be sexual. Power to be who you are. The power of peace of mind. That's my vision board. And ain't no telling how long that'll be up there. Okay, so before I undo all these bags I got. Okay, I told you I had an addiction problem. But, you know, I'm trying to get it back up. Okay. Let me tell you what this. So, you know, I'm on the date now, right? So, let me tell you, and I'm not showing about the picture because, you know, that's just not right. But I do want to tell you the one of these ones where the guy liked my picture and liked me. And I'm going to tell you what he has on his profile. I like quieter. Okay. Y'all know I'm half blind. Let me put these glasses on right quick. Uh, okay, this is what he said he is. And he's 67. A lot quieter in my old years and I, than I was when I was younger. Which means he probably was very reckless, loud, obnoxious. That already, in that one sentence, tell me that at one time, this is the type of person you were. I lost my wife six years ago. Looking for female companionship. No heavy women. First of all, I ain't even finished. That's just the first part. First of all, what you consider heavy? You need to put a weight limit in. What do you consider heavy? Because me personally, to me, I'm heavy because I know how small I want to be. So to me, I'm heavy. But to someone who's bigger than me, they may be like, girl, ain't nothing wrong with you. You, it's what you think. But you telling me, you don't want nobody heavy. Okay. Wow. Then put a weight limit. Because baby, I, I don't know what heavy you talking about. That's the first thing. I ain't finished. It get worse. No heavy women. No children. I don't mind about that. Because you know I said, if you had a stage in your life, because I'm 67. I don't blame him for that. I'm 67 and evidently I'm going for women 50 to my age because I'm 58. So he may be going 55 to his age. It, I don't care about that because I don't want nobody to get no four year old, five year old. If you still parenting and, and raising a child, I don't mean you can't talk. I done, done that. Mm -mm. I got plenty of grandbabies I need to work with. Mm -mm. I ain't being no second mama. I don't like baby mama drama. I don't want none of that. So I don't care about that. One. But wait, I'm not finished. Height is not a factor. You got to be white skin, olive skin, or light black. White, light skin, 
olive skin or light black. I guess he liked my picture, so I must be black, light black, but not dark. Now, you saying you have to have a certain weight and a certain color. Now, I know we say, well, you're supposed to be honest on the app. Baby, sweetie, no. Like a picture or don't. You ain't got to do all that colorism. You see my picture. Child, I just had to tell y'all that one. I was like, huh? What? I had to read it twice. I was like, no, you didn't, did you? You done went straight up colorism. But I guess he said I'm 67. I don't want you black and chocolate. So you think me as a black woman will talk to you? You ain't learned nothing in your 67 years, evidently. Boy, boo, and bye. So I had to tell y'all about that. <laughs> okay, so let's get to the one that I told you I was texting. So for now, it's just good morning, how your day been, stuff like that. Um, and then one guy I tried to, because uh, you know, I'm not going to stop with one. I mean, I ain't even dating nobody yet. I ain't even said I'll be on a date yet. So I had this other guy in between that one that in between the last time we talked that I let talk to me or whatever. We were texting too. And what did he say that I blocked him? What did he tell me? Oh, so he texted me in the morning and I responded. Uh, it was about an hour later and he responded and then i didn't respond again until maybe two or three hours i'm at work why he say why are you not answering oh uh, whoa whoa i already been with somebody who was demanding overburn and and i'm not talking about my ex-husband demanding overburn and and controlling that is a turn off for me right away so, you know, I fried them and blocked them at the same time. You can fry and block. It's called fry block. <laughs> so, that's that with the dating things. Nothing's happened yet. Okay, so let me open some packages. I know y'all still like it when I open packages. So, today, I'm filming um, how to style scarves. I've done it before, but I got some new ideas on how to style a scarf and um, hiding your fupa because that's what I have. You know, the little bottom, little pud, baby pudge boot, bottom of your belly. That's a fupa. And um, so I like to show things. I mean, I can put my little girl thing on. You never know I had a fupa, ever. But I don't want to do that because I want to show how you can hide it. So I won't be doing the fupa. Okay, so let's look at some stuff. Okay. So... And y'all know I be forgetting what I got, right? And this, I will not be doing this for the, the remain. This is stuff that I've already ordered. So June and July and August, I'm not, and September, I'm not buying no, nothing that's not relevant for me to buy because um, I help a lot with my grandchildren during school time. And I have a grandson that's going to high school and i need to have him looking right because you'll never never see me or my daughter looking good and my grandchildren not that that will never ever happen okay all right honey okay wait a minute get a little baby shirt what that little thing uh, i wanted a zebra can you imagine color blocking with this? Putting on colors or putting this with some some color something colorful that has, you know, that this zebra print can match with. This will match with green, yellow, red. But honey, this look didn't look like a baby shirt. Let's see. Cause this is puffy. So don't pay this no mind. You see how puffy this sleeve is. Ooh, I don't think this gonna make it. Oh no. Oh, I would have to wear like a jacket, Lord. Oh, wait, is it a jacket? It is a jacket. <laughs> I feel stupid. Okay, so I mean I can wear it with something. 
and bring that oh the smell lord and bring the color in but i'm on the lookout for a zebra shirt and i want it in extra large so that i can tie it and wear it any all kinds of ways i smell too good for this to interrupt me but mm. okay that a baby shirt i'm gonna have to uh when i wash that not dry it at all or oh, it won't fit nothing but i love that print so now only thing i'm gonna look out for is when i go to thrift store is a big uh a oversized one because that's gonna look so nice and then what's this oh yeah this is a vintage leslie fay and that is like a really good vintage brand and it's a size 12 and i got it just a little bit a little bigger than i of course i wear only because with vintage clothes you need to go at least one to two sizes bigger so this is more of an 18 than it is a 12 and maybe probably just an eight so oh and it comes all the way down i love it look at the print look at the print and it's pleated look at the print in it the colors y'all know i'm into that orange and there go that orange in there and pink and blue oh my god this is so nice so i'm gonna get that in that pile oh mm, jesus Ugh. they smoke i think okay i love the clothes she has but y'all know how i am about smells you already know that okay so who is this by who is what is this oh vintage keepers i'm always buying something from them the time yeah. print and it looks like it this is that one the other one i lost the bid on the on the other one Dang it, i forgot about that but look at this you know how you know how the louis vuitton print looks right look at that if you know anything about the louis vuitton print it is that exact same print so from far away you wouldn't know that it wasn't so this is look it's pleated and it you can't really see oh how nice it is but in the front can you tell you see the pleats going around it the pleats go around all the way in the back and i got this to wear to work so this is very nice to wear to work oh yes and it looks like the louis just like the louis vuitton so i'm gonna wash that and of course i won't dry it okay let me see what else i got so this weekend i'm going to see lost world i'm going to bingo again okay i'm a little upset I'll let you know if I win anything. And which one is this? Oh, this is a blazer. This is a blazer that I got. I really like um the the gold and the color the color blocking on the blazer. You see the colors that's in it? And if you turn around in the back, it also has that color block so i like that uh hold on let me see this day on dress sleeves is no joke and the thing about vintage you know they have the, these um these shoulder pads but i don't mind the shoulder pads yes honey okay this is everything this i like look at that Yes, honey. I would never button it anyway. This is nice. I like this. I like this because I can color block this. I put me on a little black dress. I put me on a little pink dress. I would even put me on, you see how it's got that purple in there? I would even put on a purple dress and put this blazer to go to work because you know it'd be freezing in the job. This would look so nice. And that's how it looks in the back. You see it? yes honey her stuff i can say 
her stuff, the smell not too bad. Sometimes it's overwhelming because of the stuff she put in it. Like that, that shirt is a little overwhelming. So she must have had to pile it on on that because you know sometimes these clothes be smelling old. You know what I mean? I got a new bra, guys, and I got it on now. You know the little rave about, and here's the bra. You know the little rave they got about, you know, doing your little body fat or whatever, whatever in the back and more support here. So I said, you know what, Denise, your oh, your stuff is hanging, honey. Now, don't get me wrong. I'll tell you right now, I've seen people way younger than me, breasts hang more than mine so it's about your body it is so when i pop this jake off either you're gonna do what you need to do with them or or you're not okay i don't care all right so but this bra feels good i'm gonna get me the a black i think they have it in black i have a tan one on i love it okay Tell me what's happening today. Can anybody? First, my nail popped off. And I ain't glue it back on because I'm already in the midst of doing the video. So, I ain't got time for all that. Then this earring don't want to stay. And this big one wants to pop off because I have two different earrings on. It's just that time of day. Let's get started. Okay, so I got this H&M Ladies. This H&M long green, um, what they call these? The uh, maxi, something like the, um, what they call them? The, uh, the satin slip dresses. This green mm, is so pretty on. But I will tell you this, my fupa is having, you know, it's out there. Um, and it, it straps in the back. So you can't wear no girdle. Okay. So uh, you're going to see me wear it now. I'm going to wear it. I just got to figure out how I'm going to make sure that my fupa is not all out there. So I may have to do a scarf hat on top of it. Something to hide it a little bit. Uh, and the back looks good. Okay. I didn't think. I'm going to tell you why I haven't bought a back out anything. Because I didn't think I would look good with anything with the back out. Because, you know, I got my little rolls there. But I'm working on them. But it comes up high enough in the back that it's only showing the top of my back. And I must say, it is not bad looking. It is not bad looking at all. So, I got this. You're going to see me style it. And I'm definitely going to wear it in the winter. Why? Put on you a turtleneck. And one of these looks so sexy. I never thought it would look so sexy, but a turtleneck and a slip dress, even the ones with the back out, look so sexy in the winter with a turtleneck. So, yeah. Okay, let's see what else I got. That's the only one I opened because I wanted to see if I had a look in it. And it got hats. I ain't feel like opening nothing else. I said, I'm going to open it with my peeps. With my butterflies. Okay, so the next thing I got is, um, I know you've seen the, these if you've been in H&M. These little crop tops are so good to wear underneath stuff that's open. 
good to wear with blazers get you some high-waisted pants that you putting on when um you know it gets a little cooler or if you go to work well you can't wear it to work but you know what i mean so if you're going in some place that is you know it's going to be chilly so that you can put a blazer on so i got this and i got it in a size medium because what i found out with things like this they stretch and if you get it in too big it it don't fit right because it's already too big and the more you wear it the more it stretches and then it just looks a mess so i'm a i got in the medium so that it can stretch into the large if you know what i mean so i got that uh some of the stuff i got at the mall and some stuff i ordered online so uh okay so let's see what else because i got to put these outfits on before it get dark do the styling videos okay so the next thing i got was um oh this pink skirt you know i said i'm into skirts and uh dresses and when i pack to go to virginia because that's where i'm from when i pack i only want to carry a carry-on and you know dresses is the thinnest best material so that you can put in your suitcase i'm wearing one pair of shoes there and one pair of shoes in my in my carry-on that's it because i'm not paying for no carry-on so i got this um long pink skirt yes and it's long on me because i'm short uh what size did i get a medium yeah oh this is gonna look cute i can't wait to style this so you know you're gonna see it just watch my follow me on instagram follow me on tiktok follow me on um um on here so that like and subscribe and i do for those who are new i do vlogs 15 minutes out of my life i don't do our vlogs i ain't got enough people following me for that maybe when i get enough people people will say hey can we see more of your life uh i give you 15 minutes but i do styling videos too so you could get either one of them okay so what's the next one because i gotta go turn this ac on mega blast because it's already 96 degrees outside. Last. All right. So the next thing was I wanted a pair of zebra print pants. They are high waisted and wide leg. Oh, these are going to be so cute. They long. Oh my God. What size did I get? Medium. They look big, y'all. But it's to the point, I just don't want no tight stuff on. And they look nice. So I got those. I got an awful lot of stuff. Oh, that's right. I wanted a lot of pants. I got these. And you know, I'm going to put the picture of everything right here for you to see. So you've probably been seeing it. I got these in a the medium. And these pants are those cargo-like pants. And they tie together at the end. And they very lightweight. And they got that big balloon look. So if you wear something like this, of course you will wear it with just like a bodysuit or something. So the slimmer you look on top without anything in these, it's nice. Okay, so this is stuff, you know, every time I go in H&M, I will get something that I have for fall or winter. So I don't always get everything because I want they sell items too, because I'm going to wear it anyway. So I got this for fall and winter. Now, it's supposed, I can't tell if it's supposed to be a dress. I think it is. Or, or a... I don't know. Is it a dress? It might be. I'm either going to wear it as a dress or a cardigan. 
and it was only $12 and I got it in the extra large because I got it from the teen section. You know, they had that little section where all the teeny bopper stuff is. And I got an extra large so that it could be a little oversized if I wear it as a cardigan. So, and I love that black and yellow. And the last thing I got was these pants. And they are a size medium. And they are just a real black pair of pants that you know flare out a little bit so you know a pair of pants you just throw on come on let's go, go go let's go eat let's go to movies let's um hey let's run to the someplace where you don't want to look dressed up but you don't nowhere near have to even look you want to look casual but you want to look like you tried put on this with a cute little shirt and some sandals you good to go you is good to go honey so this is what i got from h m guys um that's a oh wait i also went hold up guys i also went to bath and body work did you get your coupon for the 20 percent off one you know what your whole item and uh one item for free i know you got it i know you got it well i went and spent mine i ain't want nothing other than what i nothing i ain't come for no three but i ain't come for that i want to buy one item for free let me show you my free item you got one full size item so i got my japanese cherry blossom but i got the body wash and my item that i got uh mainly for my humidifier is the bahamas passion and passion fruit and banana I think it's banana flower. Yep. Oh, I got this. And I only got this to go in my humidifier. Because you know I told you I put these in my humidifier. My whole house smell like it. So that's everything guys. So guys thanks for dropping in. This is my little 15 minutes. And it probably went over 15 minutes. But uh, you know I like every... I tell you something every Sunday. So I will see you next Sunday. And maybe then I have something about food. Because don't forget, I'm going to cook for you. So I will cook for you next weekend. Bye, guys.